In this video, we will look at D. Alembert's principle. D. Alembert's principle is an alternative form of Newton's second law of motion. It is given by 18th century French polymath John D. Ron D. Alembert. In effect, the principle reduces a problem in dynamics to a problem in statics. To give you an example of dynamics and statics, the mobile you are holding to watch this video or a laptop kept on a table is in static equilibrium, which means it is static. There are a lot of forces acting on the laptop or mobile, but it is in the same position without any movement. Dynamics on the other hand are all sorts of movement you see. For example, let's say some guy is pushing a carton box. The box is under some force and it is also in motion due to that force. This is dynamics. It is always easy to analyze the problem and solve if it is a problem of statics and not dynamics. Because dynamics involve lot of parameters which complicates the solution. So, D. Alembert's principle helps us in reducing a problem in dynamics into statics. Now, how do we understand this principle? We will start from Newton's second law. The second law states that the force F acting on a body is equal to the product of mass m and acceleration of the body a or f is equal to ma. ma is the force behind the motion of the box here. Now, according to D. Alembert's principle, we need to consider this whole system and apply another force minus ma in the opposite direction of the original force ma. This will bring the system into a static equilibrium. The force minus ma is called as inertial force. In D. Alembert's form, the force F plus the negative of the mass m times acceleration a of the body is equal to 0. F plus minus ma is equal to 0. In other words, the body is in equilibrium under the action of the real force F and the fictitious force minus ma. The fictitious force is also called as the inertial force or a reversed effective force. So, D. Alembert's principle states that the resultant force acting on a body together with reversed effective force or inertia force are in equilibrium. D. Alembert's law simplifies the calculation by reducing the problem into a static equilibrium problem. You may not understand it completely now. But when you apply it in problems, you will come to know. However, the bottom line, problem will be a static problem and all the formulas of statics can be applied. This is all about D. Alembert's principle.